So what I wanna do is I wanna open up the face with a nice curtain fringe. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today I've got something extra special for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut a curtain fringe. All right, here's a couple things, couple tips about this. Here's the hairline here. That's where we're gonna take our section. So what I wanna do is I wanna follow this hairline up. I'm using a wide tooth comb at this point because I don't like to pull on the hair too much and I don't need a lot of tension when I cut dry hair. So I go up from this point up to create the first line in this triangle section that I'm gonna be creating in the hair. I'll twist that, just lightly twist it, and I'm gonna slide a clip up underneath just to hold it out of the way. So we're following the hairline up through to this top point of the head, right where the head starts to curve from that fringe area. So again, straight up from the hairline here, I'm gonna go up to this triangle to complete the triangle section. So she's facing forward. Here's the bridge of her nose. I've got my two triangles. So it comes from this point here all the way down the hairline. You just follow the hairline down, then you split it with the middle part, and then you get your two triangles in the haircut. I'm gonna take out the left-hand side uh, section, just like that, and I'll just slide my clip up here. Now what I wanna do, this is gonna be condensed cutting as well. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling this hair not to the center bridge of the nose, I wanna pull it past to the other eyebrow, to the edge of the other eyebrow. That's where I'm going to cut it. My fingers are gonna be parallel to the wall, right? So as I come over here, I'm holding the hair out and my fingers will be parallel to the wall and I'm over directing it over to the other eyebrow. I wanna show you guys from multiple angles here. So out from the head here, just over the nose, but then bring it to the edge of the eyebrow. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling all this hair over here to the edge of the eyebrow here, and that's where I'm gonna start my cut. And when I let this go, it's going to create, see that already? I'm gonna tie this into, I'm gonna do the same thing the other side. You can see that curtain fringe start to open up. Now I can decide how do I want is it light enough? Is it, does it still feel a little bit heavy? If it felt a little bit heavy, I can always take into some of this fringe and just do a little bit deeper point cutting into it to soften it up. What I wanna do is I'm gonna iron it a little bit just to get it under control. So grab my Paul Mitchell Neuro smoothing iron. I'm gonna take slight diagonal parting. All right, let me show you guys how to cut it with a tri razor. How we took our sectioning, we're gonna do it exactly the same. So right here, find your hairline, and I'll draw my line straight down the hairline. See, hairline straight up to the top here. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So there we go. So now we've got our big triangle. I'm going to take and cut that in half. Here is the edge of the eyebrow that we're going to. So here we go, just above the eyebrow. If they've got thick hair, then you take the 25 texture side. You take the 25 texture side, which is right here. And first I go from the start of the eyebrow to the edge of the eyebrow. It's kind of a, a nice little rule there. So start of the eyebrow, 
to the edge of the eyebrow. One little kick. Now, that takes out 25% of the hair. Now I go to the edge of the eyebrow and I can do my 100 cutting side across. So you see the texture, you see all the different lengths. When I comb this over, that'll give me a little kick. And this, like if it feels a little bit long, this I sectioned a little bit further down, you can always cut into that and I'll show you guys that in a second. let down both sides and hit it with an iron like I did before. So what I'm going to do is what I was telling you guys about before, which is take up some of this on the side here. 